Welcome to the final battle of FNF Victory Road Draft League week number two. This battle is pitching the American Braviaries versus Butcher Blissies. The American Braviaries being Noob Scrub 27 and Butcher Blissies being Fingered Witch. Noob Scrub 27 and Asnoir on Pokemon Showdown respectively. Oh, sorry, I mean out of Showdown he's Noob Scrub, but on Showdown he has the 27 attached. <laughs> Uh, as a reminder, Mega Venusaur is the Pokemon on Noob Scrub's team, and Mega Altaria is the Pokemon on uh, Asnoir's team. However, we won't be seeing Mega Altaria. And the Z Crystal Pokemon we have are Braviary and Blossom on the first team. We won't be seeing either of those. And Zergatry and Blissey on the second team. Blissey being able to use any Z move, Zergatry only attack. Wait, did I get it right? Is it Zergatry? It is. I think it's. Actually, Arcanine, yeah. It's Arcanine, not Zerkatry. <laughs> I'm, I'm ready for week three, clearly. Uh, it is Arcanine who could use Z attack moves and Blissey who could use any Z moves. Uh, Noob Scrub here, the king of stall. Uh, so we might see some toxic going on here. We definitely have some of those defensive behemoths. The famous Chansey Empoleon Venusaur Core has a new member, Toxapex who is everybody's favorite defensive Pokemon. <laughs> and then on the uh, Butcher Blissey's side, we have some defense in Blissey and some tanky Pokemon like uh, Tentacruel and Arcanine, but we have more of the offensive Pokemon with uh, Zergatry on the special attack side and Halucha on the attack side. So we might see some... Uh, Strong attacks going from Butcher Blissey's, uh, and also we should never discount the fact that Butcher Blissey's does have some gimmicks up their sleeve, and uh, Noob Scrub also has a couple wall breakers, so it might not be just stall. So, very, very intense fight that's going to happen. We'll see what happens, and I think we're ready to begin. Said good luck instead of good luck. <laughs> Looks like I think Butcher Blissies is having a slight problem with the program right now. Noob Scrub had a crush uh, crash happen. Okay, and it looks like they're good to go now. So out comes Gallade and swabs the tentacle. Gallade in a good position to set up a sword stance or to go for a uh, Zen headbutt here. Tentacruel might want to switch out to Arcanine Kiyotaka being able to intimidate here. Sword stance bringing Gallade up to 1.5 attack. Kiyotaka goes for the crunch, dealing about half, but Justified is going to raise Gallade's attack. Gallade holding a life orb. So it looks like Gallade... It's as if Gallade had the attack boost from uh, Sword's Dance, even though the Intimidate hit Justified raised it a little bit more. And Squiggles the Blissey comes out. Interesting to send out Blissey against Gallade. Ooh, and Knockoff takes away leftovers from Blissey. Blissey's going to hit with a Fire Blast, taking Glade down to 8%. Once again, we have Joey bringing Offensive Blissey, a, an uncommon pick, but a pick nonetheless. Alright, and Glade, Knockoff. Uh, knockoff brings Glade down. One of the wall breakers is gone, but two of Joey's Pokemon are gone. Now comes Hoopa Unbound, the other wall breaker, and Lorantis is going to join the fight. Hula Hoopa, the Hoopa Unbound. Lorantis 
Lurantis does have to be careful of Gunk Shot. Gunk Shot does have the potential to probably one hit KO. Now comes Venusaur, Venuswole. Lorantis uses Substitute. If Venusaur has Sludge Bomb, it can break through the Substitute, and indeed it does have Sludge Bomb breaking through. And Lorantis goes for a Superpower, which will bring its attack and defense stats up. However, Superpower did do measly damage versus Venusaur, and Leaf Storm will not do good damage either. At this point, I think a good switch would probably be to Tentacruel to be able to take a Sludge Bomb. Ooh, and Sludge Bomb hits. Substitute, uh, substitute unable to be used by Lorantis. Substitute uh, needing 25% of HP or more, and Lorantis is taken down by the Sludge Bomb. Out comes Halucha Lawless. Wondering why we're not seeing Tentacruel here, but maybe Tentacruel has some other plans. And out comes Toxapex. Lawless uses Substitute. So another Substitute Pokemon here. Now comes Zerkatry, Sister Shocker, Toxapectorals is the Toxapex's name. And Chad Jr. comes out, Sister Shocker going for a Thunderbolt, deals about 29%. Right, and Chad Jr. is going to go for the Seismic Toss. Not playing any games here. And Thunderbolt hits again, paralyzing Chansey. Chansey goes for the Wish. Chansey protects, and Thunderbolt will not hit through the Protect. Meanwhile, Burn is slowly chipping away at Zerkatry. Zerkatry goes for another Thunderbolt. Chansey uses Heal Bell to heal the Paralysis. And Thunderbolt's going to bring Chansey down again. Chansey goes for a Wish. And down goes Sister Shocker. Halucha does come out. Chansey protects and Halucha goes for the Swords Dance. Out comes Toxapex, and Halucha drains some HP with Drain Punch. Toxapex might be going for Haze. If Toxapex has Haze, this is not good news for Halucha. Another Drain Punch is going to deal some damage to Toxapex. Ooh, and indeed it does have Haze. Stats are reset. Toxpex goes for the Toxic, but it will not break through the Substitute. It's gonna be a little bit... I think this is where the stall starts to come in. <laughs> yeah. Looks like Toxapex gonna stay out. Toxapex probably has recover. Substitute takes damage from the Scald. Slowly Drain Punch is bringing down Toxapex. Right, and out comes Hoopa Unbound. Substitute going up once again.
Will Hula Hoopa have a move that could hit through Substitute? Ooh, and Drain Punch deals a good amount of damage there. Hyperspace Fury does hit through Substitute. But it does not take down Halucha. Out comes Toxapex once again. And Halucha just draining more HP with Drain Punch. Drain Punch hitting once again. Halucha is a hard wall to go through. It does not play any games. But Halucha is proving to be resilient too with the uh, Drain Punches. And out comes Chansey. Halucha goes for the Acrobatics. I wonder why the switch to Chansey, considering that a Drain Punch would do a lot of damage and heal Halucha quite a bit. All right, Halucha going for the Drain Punch, dealing massive damage and healing Halucha all the way to max HP. Halucha proving to be quite the Pokemon here, but Toxapex is the one to take down. All right, and Halucha goes for the substitute. Toxpex cannot toxic Halucha. How much HP, uh, PP does Drain Punch have? Only six left. So Halucha is going to have to be careful in preserving that Drain Punch. All right, and Scald is going to hit but not break the substitute. Drain Punch re restoring some more HP there. Toxpex going for the Haze. Toxpex last move probably being recovered. It's going to be... I, I don't know if Toxpex is going to be able to go down here. Skull's hitting. Not sure about using Drain Punch at this point. It has 2 PP. So there's only a only could you yeah, it could only be used once more, sorry. Alright, Scald's still not burning. And out comes Tentacruel. Tentacruel's going to take a Scald. Water poison versus water poison here. And Chansey comes out. Tentacruel goes for a Giga Drain. Ooh, and Knockoff is going to get rid of Chansey's Eviolite, hampering its defensive ability. Protect is going to protect Chansey from being hit by an Ice Beam. Ice Beam still not doing a lot of damage. This is a tough spot for Tentacruel to be in. Chansey still being able to wall pretty comfortably against Tentacruel due to it being a special defender. like Noob Scrub is doing some math. Probably doing some damage calculation on the calculator. Yeah, I want to say if Toxapex was taken down, Halucha would probably be able to go through the other four Pokemon. But because Toxapex has Haze, Halucha, I don't know if it could power through it. Alright, and out comes Hoopa Unbound. Hula Hoopa. Knockoff is going to get rid of the Choice Band, 
and Hyperspace Fury takes down Tentacruel. Halucha is sent out. Will Halucha be able to survive? Koopa Unbound did lose immediate power from the Choice Band being knocked off, but it now has Move Selection ability, so it could use a move that isn't Hyperspace Fury. Out comes Toxapex, and Substitute is set up again. And I believe that was the last Drain Punch. Just enough to bring... Halucha over the edge to be able to make another substitute. Halucha goes for an acrobatics, but it's not going to do much. Toxapex is just the unbreakable wall here. And Halucha's down to 6%. And a final Scald is going to bring down Halucha with a score of 5 0 for Noob Scrub. Uh, victory for the American Braviaries over the uh, Butcher Blissies. So a good game from both sides. Toxapex really the pivotal Pokemon here, being able to take pretty much anything once once to uh, I'm sorry once Zerkatry went down. Toxapex was free to play and play it did. Hayes being the killer of uh, Halucha. So that was the final battle of. Week two. Uh, week three starts now, so we'll see some new matches coming up and tune in then. Hope you enjoy.